Welcome once again to Commander by Danon. I'm excited to announce that this channel is sponsored by Ultimate Guard. For the last few years, Ultimate Guard has been hard at work finding ways to protect your cards without damaging the planet, and they have discovered it. Boulders, once made entirely of plastic, are now made of 87% renewable resources. They also come in a variety of sizes, including this new Return to Earth 100 card boulder. If you're like me, you have a ton of decks and don't want those boxes filling up an entire suitcase, then this box is the perfect solution. Find out if your local game store carries the new Return to Earth boulders from Ultimate Guard, or click on the link down below to order yourself some from Amazon. Today's video was brought to us by Patreon supporter Roxy. Huge thanks to Roxy and the rest of my Patreon supporters. Roxy reached out asking for a deck built around the new Boros commander from the Lord of the Rings, Tales of Middle-Earth, Mary, Squire of Rohan. But before we get started, I'd like to quickly ask you to like and subscribe. It really does help the channel, and it's free. With that out of the way, let's get into the video. Mary, Esquire of Rohan, is a 2-mana two 2-2 two -two legendary halfling knight with haste. So long as Mary is equipped, he has first strike. Additionally, whenever we attack with Mary and another legendary creature, we draw a card. Now, for those who don't know, Mary, along with Eowyn, was left behind when King Theoden and the Rohirrim rode to aid Gondor. Eowyn disguised herself and went anyway, along with Mary, and it's a good thing they did. Otherwise, the Witch King of Angmar would have never been defeated. That being said, I love the flavor of this card. Mary works great by themselves, but truly excels when there's another legendary creature with him. So we'll want both equipment and other legends in the deck. I'd like to stay on theme, so most of the other legends are people who were at the Battle of Pelennor Fields. But before we get to our deck list, we should keep in mind our checklist. 50 mana sources, usually split between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp. 10 pieces of card advantage. 8 to 10 pieces of spot removal. 2 to 3 board wipes. 2 pieces of graveyard hate. And 1 sudden I win card. Command Tower, Exotic Orchard, Rogue's Passage, Axe Guard Armory, Sunhome, Fortress of the Legion, Minas Tirith, Arid Mesa, Scalding Tarn, Marsh Flats, Sacred Foundry, Spectator Seating, Sundown Pass, Clifftop Retreat, Alpine Meadow, Sacred Peaks, Battlefield Forge, Needle Verge Pathway, Boros Garrison, Scavenger Grounds, Myriad Landscape, Seven Mountains, and Eight Plains. Sword of the Animist, The Reaver Cleaver, Land Tax, Soul Ring, Arcane Signet, Fire Diamond, Marble Diamond, Talisman of Conviction, Boros Signet, Mind Stone, Felwar Stone, Solemn Simulacrum, Wayfarer's Bauble, Sword of Feast and Famine, and Sword of Hearth and Home. Srom, Senior Edificer, Pure Steel Paladin, Armored Sky Hunter, Sun Titan, Mask of Memory, Stoneforge Mystic, Fighter Class, Open the Armory, Stone Hewer Giant, Esper Sentinel, Big Score, and Unexpected Windfall help us to dig through our deck and find answers. Swords to Plowshares, Boros Charm, Generous Gift, Path to Exile, Chaos Warp, Wear Tear, Dispatch, Disenchant, Abraid, Valorous Stance, and Rip Apart make up our spot removal package. Slash the Ranks, and Farewell provide flexible board wipes. Swiftfoot Boots, Blackblade Reforged, Loxodon Warhammer, 
Alvar, God of Battle, Lion Sash, Hammer of Nazan, Shadow Spear, Maul of the Skyclaves, Masterwork of Ingenuity, Embercleave, Dark Steel Plate, and Mithril Coat. I know, I know. When the Battle of Pelennor Fields was happening, Sam had the Mithril Coat. I don't care. Deal with it. We've also got Forge Anew and Sigard as aid as support pieces. Eomer, Marshal of Rohan. Eomer of the Rittermark. Eowyn, Fearless Knight. Theoden, King of Rohan. Rayav, Master Smith. Brunor Battlehammer. Danitha Capuchin, Paragon. Noel, the Forge Master. Kedis, Emberclaw Familiar. And Aurelia, the War Leader, make up the core of our deck. Now that we have our deck list, we should compare it to our tech list. 49 mana sources split between 34 lands and 15 pieces of ramp. A little light, but our deck is pretty low to the ground, so it's fine. 12 pieces of card advantage. 11 pieces of interaction. 2 board wipes. 2 pieces of graveyard hate and scavenger grounds and farewell. No sudden I win card, but we do have an infinite combo that I'm sure some of you caught. Sword of Hearth and Home's attack trigger allows us to fetch a basic, put it into play tapped, and flicker a creature. According to the rules of magic, a creature that has been exiled and returned to the battlefield is a new instance of that creature. So all we need to do is have Sword of Hearth and Home attached to any of our creatures, as well as Aurelia the war leader on the battlefield. We attack with Aurelia, as well as the other creature, then flicker Aurelia. We get another attack phase. Repeat ad nauseum. This deck presented some unique challenges. Normally a Voltron deck doesn't have a ton of other creatures in it. You want to focus on equipment, protecting your commander, and maybe some stacks to slow the game down. But Mary needs a legendary companion in order to draw cards, so I wanted to ensure he had some. Do you have a Voltron deck? Who's your commander? Leave a comment below. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, a huge shout out to my editor Cute Stuff. I couldn't make these videos without her. If you'd like to hire her to edit your own videos, she can be reached at cutestuff.edits at gmail.com. Link is down below. If you're looking for ways to support the channel directly, you can head on over to patreon.com slash One of the tiers is specifically set up for Commander. For only $25, I will build you a custom Commander deck based around your specifications and even do a deck video on it. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons, Waffles, Jariah, Muffins, Marcus, Phoenix Device, Squishy, Brett, Roxy, Josh, Sean, Richard, Pob Zombie, Mark, Danny, Alex, John, Ignis, Daniel, Steve, and Kevin. You guys are awesome. I post new Commander Deck videos often, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. Also, if you're a fan of anime and manga like I am, feel free to check out my other channel, Musings by Dana. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again next time on Commander by Dana.